Welcome back to episode 3. The last episode we took over Montreal and the British pushed small raiding parties out of Quebec and they pushed a medium sized force of light infantry and line infantry along with some cav to the north as long as uh, as well as some Sioux scouts and some Royal American line. We reinforced here. We need to go ahead and get these guys replenished. And then we're also going to push our army out of Boston here. Forward. Move them March. up there. We're going to take our Minutemen. By the left. March. Hold down Boston. I'm thinking about reinforcing up here. I don't know if I... I really want to focus on this right now because they left Quebec unattended. They should have one unit of light cav and there are two garrison units. So I think if I can take, actually these guys need to replenish as well. I can take everyone but three. Waiting for the orders. Leave those three Take behind. Me. I think we can get them to surrender without even having to fire a shot. So let's see if we can get Prepare Quebec here. They refuse to surrender, so they have pikemen and uh, guard corps elite infantry. So we will go ahead and hop into this battle quick. Go ahead and march these guys up here. We'll get our cab in the woods over here. I'm also looking at uh, starting a Rome. Uh, Rome 2 Let's Play series. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comment section below. One thing we definitely need to do is get new cannons. These 12 pound howitzers are very inaccurate. Accuracy of 48. Once we get the, a third school up, we can focus on uh, getting better research on our uh, artillery. Bringing their cav up. Just put them on explosive shells and see if that'll do any good. We'll target down their uh, cav here. are about to be in range here. Actually, let's just focus on their first foot. Because I feel like if we take out like five, five or six of these uh, 
guys if they'll uh they'll route. That was an awful shot by our cannons there. Fire at well here. I don't know what these pipes are doing. Our enemy general is dead. I need you guys to get a volley off before these pikes. Uh, this is gonna be good. British line infantry to hold. I don't think they will, though. Oh, pikes are fleeing. Focus them down here. My uh, calves to be getting fired upon by my own guys. All right, that should do it, right? Yeah, they're all in. They're in full retreat. There we go. We got Quebec. three main uh, objectives I had once they declared war on us. I wanted to get these three provinces and then we're going to focus on Newfoundland next. Because if we can control Newfoundland, we can control the trade route here as well as any reinforcements coming from Britain. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and send a raiding party over here. Drop anchor! So that'll be a nice, nice chunk of change. Also have to remember that the Spanish did declare war on us last turn. I wonder... The French did, uh, the French don't want to be allies anymore, which sucks. That really sucks. So we need to reinforce Savannah here. I just pulled these guys from down south to reinforce up north against the British. All right, we've 
got nothing left in our treasury, so there's not a whole lot we can do this turn. So we'll go ahead and end turn and see what uh, what happens. So they want us to give them Maryland, and they'll give us the Windward Islands. Let's see if they'll take that. <laughs> We need to keep uh, a major ally like that, though. Because if any of my uh, my last campaigns were worth going off of, once I lost France, they... Uh, they started to attack me as well. This, so that we can get the army board. It's going to take 40 turns. Wow. That is one thing with this mod that I did notice was when we researched anything, it was like 20 plus turns almost. Okay, so we need... I'm going to get some Sioux Scouts because those guys have been... Annihilating my armies. Alright, so these two armies just swapped pretty much. Get these repaired. Our armies replenish. Uh, second New York got uh, replenished pretty quick. Need to get that first Delaware back. Waiting for orders. Take this army on real quick. Okay, these uh, cav units are pushing up on their own. Go ahead and double time into position. They're almost in cannon range. If we can just get them in the cannon range, that'd be awesome. Men are pushing up. Overlapping fields of fire now, and the cannon should start going off any second.
Alright, we got their Dragoons in full retreat. Now if we can get these European General Bodyguard to retreat. They are pulling back. We'll just send one unit of uh, Light Horse. Don't want to cause a friendly fire incident. Now let's push our main line up. Oh. Dragoons reformed. Infantry, two units of it stacked. And then we do have this one unit of uh, line infantry back here. Slightly disorganized, but. forward here. I'll get back with you guys as soon as we're in position. Should be in range. Oh, there goes their body. Got a volley off. No. Treat. So we don't friendly fire. Or double time. Flank here. And charge the bodyguards. guys are taken care of go ahead and push our cav up here to the hill and we'll charge down on the line infantry get this battle over with make sure they're not gonna go head on all right they're rotating now they're not organized this is over Could run them down so that uh, they won't be on the battlefield, but I'm pretty sure we did enough damage that 
Forward. Yeah. March. Now we can just march out with these guys, and that should finish them off. I'm a Stickney. Got an upgrade. We got a new agent again. Or is that the agent that? Okay. Repeat message. France of Bavaria broke their alliance. France and Dakota. Oh, about the raid in Brunswick. We just took care of that. United Provinces and France are in a war. The necklace affair. two units of Sioux scouts and that's going to take probably this entire army to take them out. Well, Sioux scouts are ridiculously overpowered. That's why we're recruiting what? Four of them right now? Yeah. Keep this. We'll keep the drummers here. We'll reinforce fall. Reinforce Falmouth. Where did this army come from? Make ready. Oof, these guys back. Did I just pick? Oh my goodness! I just selected the whole army. That's not good. off one unit of two scouts and we'll get them recruited up here yeah when they attack Acadia up here we're just gonna garrison buildings and try to hold off Pretty even battle. We do have the one unit of cav. They might uh, they might take us out here. Actually gonna pull these guys out of the buildings. We can always fall back to the buildings. I need their guns up front. Just start. what we need we need them to split their units off here these guys to break completely.
are you guys not firing? These guys before they set. Grab our artillery, tell them to hold fire. Dead. Focus down these tribals. All right, we do have a full route. They lost 520. We lost 141. I'll take those numbers. And their army got devastated. Completely destroyed. That's good. Like I said in the last video, the reason I hate taking Montreal early game... Well, the reason I hate fighting Britain early game is because they have an unlimited supply of army and resources. But Montreal is just such vast landscape that is impossible to defend all the small towns and they just send these raiding parties of they just send these raiding parties all the way over here and I mean I can't even it takes me two turns just to get there to reinforce over here it's going to take me three turns just to reinforce and all it is is one unit of Great Plains archers and it's going to cause me 500 459 gold just to repair that building. Punish that army. Get these guys incorporated. We gotta start focusing on Spain down here. See what oh yeah we gotta read this one holy cow damn near 5,000 right there 4,300 compared to this one's only 1,100 ahead and get an army going in Pennsylvania
take these guys right here. March them down. Ready and waiting for Take these guys. March them down. Wanna take these drummers. We'll just go ahead and disband them. over there okay so these guys formed up into one army versus the two that they had initially do have a shipyard over here as well and then hopefully these two ports develop soon like I said previously and we can get two more trade ports going because eventually this shipyard is going to be become our uh, our main naval recruiting once we get into a comfortable position on our territory on the land we will start recruiting naval forces and we will i guess head over into europe take a look at europe and see what's going on Nothing really out of the ordinary. France is still kind of holding their land. Wow. Genoa has a... Decent little fleet, a better fleet than what we have. Yeah. What we gotta watch out for is Spain's gonna start sending over raiding ships and armies and whatnot so what we're gonna do next video is get this army complete then we will march down take saint augustine um get a small navy some sloops cheap ships we move down into cuba the bahamas Jamaica, Hispaniola, and then we'll start just taking these small little islands and uh, territories down here. And then we'll focus on Mexico and Guatemala. I don't know if that's all going to be in the next video, but the next couple videos, that's going to be our main focus. Get these armies and fleets out of here. Get them back to Europe, and then we can start our uh, start our advance into Europe. I don't know if I really want to mess with the Iroquois because they did not declare war on us when Great Britain did. We get a trade agreement with them, maybe. Want us to pay three sixty? Do it, but. And the uh, um, I'm blanking on their name right now. Cherokees, holy cow! They uh, they're at war with Spain, so maybe we can get something going with them. Okay, so we're allied with the Cherokees right now. So we'll utilize them to fight the Spanish. So yeah, that's what we'll uh, take care of next video. Appreciate you guys. I'll uh, I'll try and get another video up shortly. Uh, if you guys could, please drop a like, subscribe. 
uh, let me know what you, you would like us to do in the next uh, video.